What's going on, killers? What is going on, comfort killers? What is going on, YouTube? Thank you so much. I love the comments that I'm getting lately on YouTube. It's like, keep going, keep pushing, like your style. Love the comfort killers. Love the philosophy. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to ask you, why am I not seeing you in a power talk, huh? I need you in a power talk, and I need you there quick. The link is there below. I have this power talk. It's, the, it's how I give back. And uh, just keep everything uh, symbiotic. Our relationship is symbiotic. It's not just watch and, j watch and go. You can come and talk to me. I'm very open. And I just want to say, man, I feel so great because I just, I'm supposed to release the pre-ordering of my book um, on February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, V-Day. But then I was like, man, I want people to fall in love with themselves today. So I got the link below where you could go ahead and pre-order my new book, I did the whole damn title, it was The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life Using Tools You Already Have, and I'm going to talk about something right now, it's between uh, how do you step out of amateur zone and go into professional zone, the pro, the amateur and the pro. I just read a tweet that got me thinking, and you know, when I got thinking, the, I was churning, and the brain was yearning, and I had to get going, because I always have a burning desire to just give give you an, some information that, I don't know, I don't know who it's gonna touch. I don't know who it needs to, to hear today. But I definitely felt it that I had to come here and, and, and provide you this. So I would appreciate if you support the book, support my journey to success, support your journey to success, because within the book, all I do is outline everything that I've done to change my mindset, to go from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset, to really take the power that I have within that I, I didn't know it was there. I just was like, oh my God, what other external things should I rely on? Should I be dependent on? And then I turn back, I'm like, it's in me, okay. And it has everything to do with today. So I would appreciate and take a second, I deliver the audiobook. If you pre-order, I give you the audiobook and the signed copy. So you'll see my scribbles on, on the face of the book. And I want to send that to your home by March 26th. If you pre-order today, I have pre-order opening. It is limited amount that I'm doing this for. And so uh, definitely click the link, go get the book. So amateur pro. What does amateurs do? What does pros don't do? Well, first of all, Amateurs are not confident, so, you know, they're not confident in themselves, they're not confident in their work, they're not confident in their expertise or what they know. There's always some reliance on something else, someone else, somewhere else, you know, out of them, you know, so they, they, their self-worth is a little down, you know, it's like, you know, can I really do that? You know, they're waiting for daddy's and mommy's approval. Yes, you can, John. Go ahead and do that. You know, so, but no one's around to give them their approval. So in the deep-rooted seed of, seed of needing approval, which probably ties back into somewhere over the rainbow in your past, needing approval from your teacher, needing approval from your dad, from your mom, maybe even your older siblings, we all did it. We needed approval. And then we were never good enough. So what does that do? We come, we're grown as, grown as adults now. And we're sitting here mentally thinking, being blocked in our subconscious, waiting for approval. So we'll always be an amateur. So I'm saying there's something deeply uh, wrong with that. You know, we're all out here. We're all humans. We're all trying to make it, right? We're all good at what we do, but we don't give ourselves approval. So if you're sitting there waiting for validation, and, and, and don't get me wrong, it's something I used to do. I used to sit back, wait for validation. Is this good? Is this good enough? I wonder what they'll think. I wonder, and, then, and then I said, oh, yeah, you know? I just said, bump it, man. You know, I don't care how it looks. I was trying to actually record my audiobook because um, I'm doing everything by myself, right? So I'm recording the audiobook, and then I couldn't, I had to stop. <laughs> I was like, "Stage, what the hell was this? You know, in the grammar, the grammaration, because it was a pre-edited version of my book. And I was like, whoa, but I did it anyway, because I'm not going to sit around and wait for validation or wait for someone to say, yes, you're good. Give me the thumbs up and ascend, because that's what amateurs do. They sit there, they sit back, they hold their position and they wait. Not me, not anymore, and not you. 
Another difference between an amateur and a pro is an amateur, they work so hard. You see what I'm saying? The amateur works so hard, you could actually see it in their knuckles, you could see the scars, the battle wounds, the battle cries. They give, they exchange time for money, all of that. Amateurs, right? Here's a quick story, and you could probably see it in one of my videos. I interviewed Gordon Bazaar. Gordon Bazaar is in his 70s. Old man, okay? He ain't that old. Sorry, Gordon, you ain't that old. But you old, okay? So, he did his thing, right? And, you know, built his empire and entrepreneurship, business. You can see the interview. We did it on a yacht. And on, it, this wasn't on the, the, the interview, but I said, hey, Gordon, your hands are so soft, man. What the hell? What are you using, bro? You need to give me some of that. And he said, Stace, I don't do work with these. I do work with this. I made my money with this. I don't make my money with this. I'm like, it, it took me like a thousand Bibles closing at the same time. Or a thousand bricks banging against the wall. Which wall? Not that wall, not Trump's wall. But a wall at the same time. It hit me. And I was like, wow, because on the other side of things, an amateur thinks that they have to work harder and struggle more, and that's the real hustle. You know, 24 seven around the clock, pouring so much energy into something, and oh my God, get the scraps and feel good about it, you know why? It's already deep rooted. It's another deep rooted thing that's a seed in your subconscious that says, on a, you make a dollar, an honest dollar, by hard work. Hard work, treacherous work, building pyramid work, slave work. You get that dollar, okay? And how you feel about that? When I'm sitting here, I'm young, right? Got the spring chicken hand. My epithelial, you know, the elastin in this bad boy is still good, right? Still working. And he, he told me, and he had softer hands than me. And that's when I said, man, bro, I got to... We gotta take this, we gotta, we gotta really look at this thing here. So what's happening in our subconscious is that even though our actions are still amateurial, we don't know why. We're, we're trying to break over to this pro game, but we can't. Why? Because there's some things that we didn't handle or confront that's happening inside our internal mental blocks. How do you get rid of these things? Another difference between an amateur and a pro is that when you see a pro, you know. Now, what is that? How do you? How could you tell? Man, that that person right there, pro, 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 gets down, gets dirty, does their thing. A pro, man, I'm a, I'm a support that pro. Yeah, and you're like this. I'll support all the pros, but the amateur, you kind of take note. You ain't ready yet. You're an amateur. You just started today. I could tell. Why could I tell? I could tell. Why? Because the difference is the talk, the walk, the confidence, the persistence, the consistency, all these things. I, used, I wrote an article that said, uh, I'm glad success is hard. I'm glad reaching success is hard for, for a lot of people, including myself. Like, I was happy. I'm glad success is hard, here's why. Because once you attain it, you know that person had to go through it. That person really had to change this. This is, this is the hard part. Because once you change this part, everything just like lays. It lays. You, it's, it's easy. Things become clearer. You can see things now. You don't have to rush there. You own your lane. You take care of yourself. You research things a little more and say, you know what? I know that my energy is limited because life, I'm, not, I'm gonna die soon, right? So I wanna make sure I'm investing time and not spending time, things like that. You start becoming a little smarter with your actions. You don't jump, you say no way more than you say yes. You say no way more than you say yes. Now that's the difference, that's a huge difference. And 
you're inaccessible kind of, right? Aren't these pros kind of inaccessible? I tried to tweet The Rock the other day. He didn't tweet me back. What's up, Rock? You ain't tweet me back, you know? I, I, I'm liking, I'm like, I'm like liking everything. I kind of inaccessible, right? How do you reach them? How do you get to them? But guess what? The amateur is too accessible. Everyone can get them. Everyone can get them. And here's the opposite of that is that everyone's saying, hey, listen, you got to be accessible. You got to say yes. When I first started in this game, I'm telling you, um, I'll say yes to everything. That was one of my things. Like, I wrote it on there. Say yes to everything because no one knows me. I need to make sure that I'm known. So I'm going to say yes to everything. I'm going to do things that I'm going to do. I'm just going to do everything, okay? And then all of a sudden I realized, shit. I got to say no. Hold my power. Rejuvenate. And if the thing that I'm doing is not making an impact, then I'm not going to do it. And then getting some core values. Another difference between a pro and an amateur is that I could ask the pro, hey, what are your values? And the pro says, here's my values. I am this. I am that. I don't do this. I don't do that. Straight up. With no smirk. But we got the big grin. I'll do it. Don't worry about that. I got you. Okay, yeah, I got, Psh. well, we're doing this one for Insta, right? So all I'm saying is that there's some, de like, I mean, definite uh, black and white things between pros and amateurs. And again, I let it all out in my book. I give it to you. Uh, I'm, I'm focused on this thing, though. I'm focused on this roadblock because no matter what, and that's why people, they, no matter what, they win the lottery, they'll give it right back because they didn't, they didn't mess with that. They didn't focus on that. They're focused on the wrong things, right? They're focused on something external. They're not focused on something internal so that it could change forever and then they could uh, reap the benefits of that and reap the rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, I would, again, appreciate if you go ahead and support me by uh, purchasing and pre-ordering my book, the first book ever, and uh, jump in it. I know you're a comfort killer. I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. If you're in the power talk, I'll know. Okay? All right? You commenting on here, come in the power talk. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name.